Hello, hello friends. This is Grace here at Chaka Tour with the Comfy Nest. And today I am doing a project with the April, it's the April Club Couture Transfer, which is so awesome. Um, but even equally awesome is these cutouts that I found. So I'm going to be using one of these cutouts with the transfer. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, as usual, you guys, if we hit a certain level of viewership, I'm going to be putting names in the prize basket. I think I'm going to give away one of these typewriters today. Um, one of these typewriter cutouts. I'm going to give one of these away. Hi, Gani. How are you, bud? You just coming up? Just a little bit there. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm just going live. You want to say hi to everybody? No. No, he doesn't want to say hi. That was my 13-year-old came in for a visit. Okay. So you guys do this. I add names to the prize basket. Um, if you sprinkle the video out, make sure that you tell me that you do because I'll be pulling randomly from some of those folks to win the typewriter cutout. And the typewriter cutout comes with little tiny, um, it's like the paper that you can put the messages on that fit right in here. Um, so I'm going to create one today and then I'll be sending one to somebody. So make sure that you that you do that um, so that you have a chance to win. Let me grab the live feed so that I can look for comments. Here we go, there I am. All right, we're in business. Hey Tracy, now see, I can see the comments. Hey Teresa, thanks for joining. Thank you for the happy mail. I am so happy, it's, it's still in my office. I've gotta get out of my office. I didn't have, I had stuff in my arms. Didn't have a chance to grab it all, but I cannot wait to get it in here and start playing with all that stuff. So thank you so much. I'm so thrilled, so excited. Happy mail, it does just make you happy, doesn't it? <laughs> so thank you, Teresa. Okay, yeah, Megan, isn't this adorable? Megan says, it's so cute. This little typewriter cut out. These people, I think it's the Glowforge cutter that people have that makes these little adorable cutouts. I don't have one, but I've purchased a few of these from another small business owner and I'm gonna give a set away today here. I'm gonna gift it away to somebody. Um, so make sure that you guys uh, say hello, let me know that you're here. And when you sprinkle, comment that you do so that I can randomly pull from one of those awesome people who help me out to win one. Okay, all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna put the camera down so you can see. I've got the comments up and running. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to, paint this before I chalk on it I'm going to paint it um, I do love the natural color of the wood but I am going to paint it and actually you guys the um I'm also going to paint this so I'm going to paint the typewriter black I'm going to paint the little piece of paper that fits in here oh, I think I got it turned around nope not that way <laughs> It fits perfectly in if you find the right way. I'm gonna paint that white because that's supposed to be like the little piece of paper that fits in the typewriter. And the cutout comes with four of these. So let's just get them all painted white. I'm just gonna come back and change the lighting in here, I think. You guys tell me if that's any better. I'll add a light there. And I also, um, I think I'm going to, when it's done, I'm gonna use this board to display it. So I need to clean this board off too. So I'm gonna start by painting so that these have time to dry and then I'll clean off the board. We're just gonna do this in like bits and pieces as we need to. So I've got, um, I actually pulled pewter gray and I have medium gray and white. So these are all gonna be white and I gotta find, I gotta make sure, because they only fit. <laughs> There's only one way that they fit. So I gotta get the right side. Yep, that's gonna be it. So that I can paint them. I think it's with this thing up. Yep, I got it now. Okay, so I'm gonna paint all four of these white. Those are gonna be my little pieces of paper. And then, the other, I think this, I'm gonna either do dark gray or black. I'm trying to decide. Hey, if you guys have an opinion, tell me. Thank you, Erin. Thanks for sprinkling the love out there. I appreciate it. So I'm going with pure white, like it's supposed to be like a little piece of paper, right? So I think the white will, um, 
I think it'll show up well. See, I cannot. I'm trying to sit down. I don't feel great, you guys. I'm trying to sit down while I work, and I just don't have it in me. I got to stand. I think it's because I'm so short. When I sit at this, this is a big, it's a taller table. Um, it's one of those ones that has the, the tall stools. And so when I sit down at the stools, I just feel too short. I feel like a, like a first grader that needs to sit on a phone book. <laughs> That's how I feel. So I'm going to stand while I do this painting. Maybe I can sit for part of it. We shall see. Ooh, too much paint on that one. We're going to spread the love here. Spread the wealth. <laughs> These go pretty quick. They're really pretty smooth. The um, wood, it must, I'm guessing it's birch, but I'm not sure. I can share, I'm gonna give one of these away today, but I can also share, if you guys are Club Couture members, hey, if you're a Club Couture member, type in club. Um, and those of you who want the link to where I purchased these, I will sure give it to you. I don't have it now, but I will sure give it to you. You need to just, um, Maybe what I can do is, you know what I'll do? You guys, if you can sign, let me let me just grab something for you. Um, I should have done this. I should be more organized, and, and I just apologize that I'm not. Let's see. I know how I can do this. I told you, like, technology is not my, <laughs> not my strong point, but I usually get by. I usually can do enough to just like dangerously get by with what I need to do. Okay, I'm gonna share with you a link um, in the comments here. And if you guys want to the, the link to the store where I bought these, um, I will give it to you. Just send me your email address and then I'll be able to email everybody at once instead of sending out like, <sighs> 100 messages. I can just do one email that goes to everybody with the link. Okay, that will make it a lot easier for me if you wouldn't mind to just sign up for the email. I just put the link in the comments, um, the little form to put your, your address on my email list, and then I can give you that link. That would make it so much easier. Okay, I want to get these painted so that I can come back to them later and we'll put little words on here. And actually I might, I might just use a marker to write a couple of little words on here, but you could use your, I wonder if we have a font lettering that's small enough. We'd have to test that out or the, some of the words that came with this set or with some of your other, um, some of your other transfer sets might work really well. Okay. I think that's done. I'm going to just clean my brush. Here, I have my, my dirty water where I clean my brushes. I'm gonna paint this and then we'll get to the board and clean the board and then I'll start chalking. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I love these little cutouts. Sudi says, I've been collecting 125 bottles. Of what? Like what, Sudi? What are you collecting 125 bottles of? Denise says, I'm not a member yet, but I will be soon. Yes, Club Couture. So this is the Club Couture transfer for this month. So for example, Denise chatting with about um, planning on joining soon. If you join the club, Club Couture, you pay $19.99 a month. That includes the shipping. You get a B size transfer and three single packs of paste that you can use for your design. When you enroll, you have the option to purchase what's called a kickstart kit and it has a board for this size transfer it has a full pot of white paste it has a squeegee oh i think it comes with the board erasers like don't quote me but it's like a whole kit and it gives you everything that you need to get started most importantly it includes your chalkboard um, but you pay $19.99 a month if you enroll now your first monthly kit will get charged to your credit card on May 5th. And then after that, it will be sent to you once your credit card payment has been processed and then they'll start mailing them out. It will not be this transfer. It will be a new one and they don't tell us, they don't reveal it to us until May 1st what the transfer for the month is. So if you sign up anytime in April, you're actually signing up for May as your first month. And if there are any more of these in stock, which there usually are, 
But if there are any more of these in stock, um, people who sign up in April can purchase this as an add-on for $19.99. So you can add it to your cart, basically. So if you really love this and you are not um, like a designer on my team, they, we all get them as designers, or if you're not in my Club Couture yet, you can still most likely get it if you just go ahead and enroll today, but your first full month, your first month that will be charged to your credit card on May 5th, that will be your first official one um, that you'll get. And like I said, we don't even know the design. They don't tell us the design until May 1st, and then we can reveal it to you. But come May 1st, if you sign up on May 1st, you're actually signing up for the June month. So you never, you don't know when you enroll what you're gonna get. I, I was thinking of doing the paste black and teal for the typewriter. So I don't know if a dark gray is gonna be, if it's gonna be too dark. Let me grab my lighter gray. I'm gonna go with this lighter gray. I think it's called Dove. No, Gray Sky by Deco Art. It's called Gray Sky. This is what I'm gonna use on here. Use the same paintbrush I just used. And let me make sure I have it going the right way. Yep. I want to make sure, because this little lever and the thing where you turn your paper, they're shaped differently. So you want to make sure that your transfer, when you put it down, it's going to be following the same format. <laughs> that would have been bad if I painted the, the wrong side. I don't always do this, but sometimes I do. Just put the paint right on there and get painting. I'll use it as my paint palette as well as painting it at the same time. All right, I'll check comments here in a second. And if you guys are still doing this, we should be getting more viewers coming on. And the more viewers we get, more names will go in the prize basket. And then today I'm gonna give away one of these. I'm gonna give some lucky viewer, someone who's on live, you have to be on live with us now um, to win. And just, if you don't mind, Sprinkle in the love and then letting me know that you did. I'm going to pull randomly from those folks. It's kind of an honor system. You know, sometimes I'll have 15 people say they shared and then I'll get off and Facebook tells me six people shared. It's like, okay, wait a minute. Those numbers don't add up. So it's an honor system. I'm, I'm counting on you guys to help me out, kind of spread the news, introduce me and talk a tour to your friends and family. And I... My way of saying thank you is to offer you guys some um, treats and prizes and happy mail and kind of make it fun. Guess what came in the mail today? Speaking of happy mail, guess what else came in the mail today? I've had the bingo daubers for about three days, um, but the bingo cards came today. I'm, I bought actual bingo cards. We are going to play bingo for prizes in the VIP group. It's going to be fun. So if you want to play bingo, as long as you're not a designer, you're welcome to join my VIP group. The, the link is in the description of this video, this live feed. You're welcome to join. Just make sure, please, that you answer all three questions that I ask so I know that you're a real person, not a creeper. I ask you how you found the group. I ask, so maybe you say, you know, a friend referred me or it popped up on my Facebook feed. So how you found the group, I ask you um, what your email address is, if you want to get on that email list. And then, um, and really, I don't, I haven't even been transferring those over to an email list. I ask mainly to make sure I'm not getting um, people with bad intention. Figure if you're willing to share your email list with me, your intent is good. Um, and then I ask you if you are currently a designer or if you're interested. Designers are... Not policy, Chakator policy um, says designers are not allowed to be in each other's VIP groups. So if you are a designer, I have to say, hey, sorry, can't add you in. And then I usually send you over to our team pages or to your own team page. And if you're thinking about being a designer, then that when you answer that question, that helps me know that so I can get you the right information. Okay. Oh, I love that color. Sky gray. Very pretty. We're going to let that dry. These are probably already dry. Yes, they are. Let me clean my board, I'll put that aside for a minute. Just, I'll keep it handy just in case I need touch-ups. Let me get the board clean because I am gonna chalk on that and then I'm gonna see about affixing it to this. Um, this has the hanging hardware on the back, so I'm gonna put a rag underneath it because I don't like it, like it almost scratch. I feel like it's scratching my table if I don't put something underneath it. 
and plus it keeps it steady. Okay, I'm gonna use our scraper, our new scraper. It came out in February, it's fabulous. It's a fabulous tool and I'll use the board erasers. Say goodbye to the bunny, I hate doing it. I love the bunny, I love the bunny. And I actually have, like I have the typewriter. Uh oh, did I miss a spot? I did. I have the typewriter. I also have a bunny cutout that I love um, from the same company. Um, I have a bunny cutout that'll just fit that perfectly. So I'm gonna put the bunny on a bunny cutout. But this um, board, this board, I'm gonna erase it. I'm going to erase it. So I wet it down all the way around. I wet it. I'm gonna let it soak for a second. Um, if you spread the water out, make sure it's hitting all of the paste. See, even with it wet, I just wet it, it's still not smudging yet. And let's keep, watch my fingers. I'm just gonna, you'll be able to see it. See, now it's starting to come off. So when people say, well, if it gets wet, is, are my letters gonna come off? Eventually they will, but look, you can still see them. It's just smudging the design. The paste gets reactivated with the water. Um, the scraper is perfect because it like pulls up most of the paste. Like it pulls it up and off so that your board eraser doesn't have to get so mucked up. Like look at all that paste. It's like kind of gratifying actually, this process. <laughs> and it, it, it holds my, my board erasers last longer now because I don't have all this residual paste. I can use them more in between washings um, because you can wash your, your board eraser, you can wash the paste out of it by just rinsing it in the sink. But if you're getting most of the paste off before you use the board eraser, it just causes, you get more use out of them. Um, I don't have a sink here in my craft room. I just have, you know, I just have my little pots of water right there. So it's easier for me if I don't have to keep cleaning these every time I use them. But when, when before we had the, um, the eraser, the board eraser, all that paste that I just scraped off was going in the board eraser. Now I can put it in this blue shop towel. That's the bulk of it. Now I can come back and wet this down, put the scraper aside, and then I'm gonna use the board eraser. It's kind of like a magic eraser. I, they definitely do last longer than a magic eraser, I will say that. They don't break up as fast. All you need is water. And these I think are like $3 for two of them. I've been giving these as little treats. Um, our My monthly kit members in the VIP group, I offer discounted bundles. And my monthly kit members get, sometimes I'll say, oh, I'm gonna add special, like two extra treats in your bundle for people who are in the monthly, monthly clubs. I have two of them, actually. Um, so I've been putting these in as a little treat. You see, notice I'm wiping down the whole frame, just in case I got any paste on the frame. I'm wiping down my whole board, and this is gonna be ready to go when it's time, because this is gonna fit on here perfectly once I have it all designed. And I don't know, I'm trying to decide. I was thinking the 3M um, Velcro would work really good for attaching that. Um, I usually just use glue dots, but I don't know if this is too big for, if I did like, I have the big glue dots, so I, maybe if I did like five or six of them around all the edges, it would work, but we'll figure that out later. Let me just get rid of this. Not get rid of, I'm just gonna put it to the side here. All right, now my gray paint, I've got a little smudge of water on there. It's not perfect, but I'm not, I'm not worried about that because it's gonna mostly be covered with this. So let's get this out of here. I've used this already, so it's already been fuzzed and used. Look at you guys, I'm so bad. All right, you guys can laugh. You can do the laugh emojis if you want. I don't mind at all. Um, first, let me check here for comments. And Aaron says, happy Friday, everybody. And Sudi says, I love the bicycle in the back behind you. Sudi, that is my two-day paint challenge. You, and you know what's funny about this? I'll grab it real quick. Thank you for commenting on it. This is painted on a piece of cardboard. So literally a cardboard chunk that came out of my Chocotour package. Um, 
this is the course that it's a two day paint challenge. It's $10. I'm just charging $10. Um, 11 a.m. on both March 4th and 5th, we're gonna gather in a private Facebook group and I'm gonna teach you guys how to paint this. I have a tracer for the bike, so the bulk of the hardest part of it is getting the, the trace of the bike and I'm gonna give you a tracer so that you can trace it out and then we're gonna paint it together and I'll teach you step by step how to paint it. And I think I'm gonna show a couple of different flower options for the florals and you can, of course, you can paint yours whatever colors you want, but I, you know, Mine is like a really cool blue color. I use blues and greens, but you can use whatever colors you want. Okay, now here's what I was gonna say. You might wanna laugh at me. Look at the way I cut, you guys who are avid Chalk Couture fans. Look at the top of my transfer. Look at how ragged it is, you guys. Shame on me, right? Like, is that making some of you cringe? This would make my sister Kathy cringe because she likes things to be just right. And I used to be that way, but clearly I'm not anymore. <laughs> clearly it doesn't bother me. Okay, and get this lined up. Oh, this would be a really good guide for me. If I can get that lined up, then the rest of it should fall into place, right? Because it, it really is such a thin portion of the design. I usually just stick my thumbs down wherever they are and then go ahead and press down. I like to do it from the middle out and the scraper actually is a really great tool for this for making sure that it's flat. The other thing that a lot of folks like to use is the extra large squeegee. It comes with a handle but you can take the handle off for cleaning it um, and for using it without the handle. Okay so you can use a tool, you can use your hands. Sometimes I feel like my hands, I can feel the bubbles but usually if I use this, I can hear the bubbles. Um, but either way, just make sure it's nice and flat that you don't have any bubbles. Hey, Deb. Susan's here from Louisiana. Susan, I sent out your mother's your Mother's Day kit today. It's in the mailbox waiting for the post, post office to pick it up. Thank you for sprinkling, everybody. Um, Sherry, I will share the link to the wood cutout if you just go ahead and... Um, Use the form to give me your email address. and that, cause I don't remember the name of the company, but I can give you the link to their store. Um, I'm going, I'm doing the $99 on Monday. Oh, Sudi, yay! Sudi's getting ready to join the team. Woohoo! Happy hands. <laughs> Celebrations. I'm so excited. Good for you. It'll be awesome to welcome you to our team. Um... Let's see, Denise says, do color like old typewriter from your from yesteryears. What color is that? It would be gray, right? That's why I think I'm gonna do black. Hey, my sister Mary's here. Hey, Miss Mary. Hello, hello. Hey, Kelly. Carol asked where I got the cutout from. I don't remember the name, Carol. Just use the email link that I gave you. Sign up for the email and I will send everybody on my email list a picture of this with the company. And I'm going to... Um, I have an extra one here. I have an extra couple, actually. I bought a few of them. Um, I'm going to send someone. Someone's going to win this today. So make sure that you say hello in the comments. And if you are sprinkling this out there, hitting that button, um, make a comment to let me know that because I'm going to choose from those folks to give one away to. I can see that we've already hit 25 viewers, 30 viewers. Let me get the prize basket. I'll randomly choose somebody and put the name in the prize basket. Oh, Kathy said, I'm so cringing. Doesn't that bug you? I was obviously <laughs> cutting it really fast, Kathy, and I um, I didn't go back and fix it because I, I don't care. I don't care. So Denise says she used like a dark gray or black. Yeah, I'm going to use black. That's the paste color. I've already um, painted the cutout with the light gray, so I think I'm going to use black on the top. Hey, Melissa. Melissa's here. All right, let me randomly pull. This is for the prize basket. Um, Denise Anderson, your name is going in the comment. It says, not a member yet, but soon will be. And she's talking about Club Couture. So that's the $19.99 a month club membership, monthly kit membership um, that she's talking about. So that would be awesome, Denise, to have you join that. Any of you who are in the VIP group, and you're all welcome. As long as you're not a designer, you're welcome in, into my VIP group. 
um, I'm offering, like I have a Mother's Day bundle. That's what I'm sending out to Susan. I have a mon Mother's Day bundle going out to five people today. I offer kits in there. Um, and I'm going to have, uh, I'm hoping by the weekend I'll have that ink kit ready for you guys. Now, I was thinking about doing part of this teal and part of it black, okay? So the part that would be black is where the typewriter keys are, and I'm thinking the rest of it can be teal. That's my thought. Ugh, look at my paste. I put the white cap on my black paste yesterday when I was working, and look, I just noticed I have a big chunk of white in there. Can you see it right there? Oh, Kathy, you would cringe. If she ever came, my sister Kathy, if she ever came to this room where I do my work, she'd be like, Grace, look at, I had a big chunk of white inside my black face. Ew. All right, got that gone. <laughs> Clean off my little X-Acto knife. <laughs> it's all good. It still works. All right, I'm going to do mostly teal and this part black, but I think I'm going to paste and then peel it up so that... Um, it doesn't dry out on me before I finish. Now, my speaking of dry, my paste, my teal paste looks a little dry. So I'm gonna add a squirt of water. It's a water-based chalk product, so it is erasable off of porous, uh, non-porous surfaces, okay? Non-porous surfaces, so glass, hard plastic. The chalkboard is non-porous, um, a mirror, People do like the front of their microwave or their dishwasher. It will erase off those things. It will not erase off of this cutout because it's a board. It's wood, which is porous. So I cannot erase it off of that. But I can put a top coat on it, even though it's an erasable paste. I can put a top coat on the wood cutout once I'm done designing it. And then I'd be able to keep it permanently in position on the wood base. So you can chalk on almost anything metal, wood, glass, fabric. I mean, we, we can chalk on and use these designs on anything. And the designs, like you can see, I've already used this once. These are um, adhesive, washable, reusable. They're not stencils there. We call them transfers because they are silk screens and we are transferring the design down onto whatever surface we're putting the paste on. So I'm gonna chalk I'm gonna chalk this and I'm gonna peel it up. I'm gonna paste it and peel it up so that it doesn't dry out before I get finished with it because I'm gonna use the two different colors so it's probably gonna take me a little longer than normal. So I'm gonna do it in sections. So I'm gonna get the top of it done and then I'll come in and peel up what I've done so it doesn't dry out. If it dries inside the silk screen, it will stay in the silk screen. It will not transfer onto your surface. So let me peel this up and then I'll dry it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love the colors. I love the colors. Okay. I'll pick it up in a second. Let me do a little drying with my, with my um, old Revlon hair dryer. <laughs> I think it's dying on me. Teresa got me a heat gun though. I'm so excited. I have to grab it. I have never used one, so I'll have to be cautious because I I burned myself with the heat, the glue gun, so I imagine I could do the same thing with the heat gun. I'll have to be careful, but I'm very excited to have it. When I get this dried up, guys, I'll hold it up a little closer so you can see the detail. Silk screen transfers, we can get so much more detail than you can get with a regular stencil. And they are adhesive and they are reusable, so you can wash them and reuse them. Which I know is so shocking, like because you think it's almost like a sticker and you can't reuse a sticker, but you can reuse these. Look at that. Those two colors together are pretty awesome. So I pasted it down and then I peeled it up because I didn't want it to dry inside the silk screen. If it did, when I pull, pull this up, the paste will stay in here and not on my my little cutout. So now I'm gonna put this back down. I'm not gonna push on almost any of that top part. I am only going to push on this part here that meets like the very end because I need to get more paste here. And I wanna make sure that the transfer is really in place on top of the board before I get to work again. This center part, I'm gonna do black. And then the outsides I'm gonna do in the teal. I'm gonna grab my 
multi-tool. It's a great little stirrer on one end. It's like really sturdy. It's more sturdy than these um, squeegees. This is the mini squeegee. It's very flexible. This has like a really solid core in the middle. You can't flex it. The ends flex a little bit. The one that this is like even a smaller squeegee and that's what I'm going to use on these edges. I'm just going to take this and put a tiny bit of paste on it because I want the middle of this to be black, but I do want these edges to be teal. It's like the frame of the typewriter. I do want this to be teal. So, and this does take, it takes a little longer when you're gonna be fussy about these specific colors, but it's okay if, um, if my, my black isn't perfect or if the teal isn't perfect, perfectly aligned, um, I just want to move quickly so that I get it all done before it dries inside the transfer. I think I'm going to go, I think I have to go like follow the line here. That's where the space bar is on the bottom. I have to stand up. I'm too short to do it sitting down. Whoa, I'm getting black where I don't want it. So you have this line up top, a little bit tricky. And it's, like I said, I don't get real worked up if it's not absolutely perfect, al perfectly aligned. I'm not gonna get myself all worked up. I'll just be proud I finished the product without hurting myself or <laughs> breaking something. So I'm the klutziest, messiest crafter you'll ever meet. Okay, I'm gonna peel it up and then I'll finish the rest of it here in a second. But I'm going to peel it up before it dries. I'm going to leave it right where it is. I don't want it to move because I still want the positioning to be the same. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to dry this part of it. That turned out really cute. I love that it's a vintage typewriter. I just love it. Like it's not one of the more modern electric ones. Okay, I'm gonna to try to place this down. I need to make sure that this bottom part is adhered really nicely, um, but I don't care about the rest of it. It's just this bottom part, because I, I don't wanna get any bleed through. So I'm gonna push on it strongly, make sure it's back in place, and then I'm gonna come in with my mini squeegee again, because it's not quite as skinny as the sides were. Oh, we got a little black in there. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if it... <laughs> oh, look what I did. You guys, you got to laugh it off. This is playtime, right? We're playing. We're not... This. No one's getting... Like, no one's going to go to jail if this doesn't turn out right. No one's sick. Like, we got to keep it all in perspective. It is just playtime. Do not get too worked up. Okay, take the... Uh, Take my stance on it and just don't get yourself too upset if something doesn't go perfectly right. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with this, because it's all done now, but I do have a little smudge of black in here. And remember, I can't erase it off of this. Um, typewriter is a wood cutout, right? So I can't erase it off of there. Let me clean my fingers because I got black paste and teal paste on my fingers. But what I can do is I can come in with a paintbrush while it's still a little wet. I'm going to come in with a stiff paintbrush. This is what I do, guys. You can try anything that you want that works for you, but I'm going to come in and try to erase some of that, actually, with my paintbrush because I can put the transfer back down and reapply some of the teal once this dries. I'm just trying to pick up a little bit of that black so it's not so... Um, you know, it's not such a noticeable black in there. So it's a, a stiff angled, tiny little paintbrush, which you know I got all that stuff on on hand. And now I'm just, it's it's a place where the, the um, paste is solid anyway. It's like one solid color of paste. So I'm just cleaning up the black a little bit if I can without going over the line. This is how I correct my mistakes on my chalkboards, my erasable chalkboards, so why wouldn't it work here? It's the same thing. I'm gonna lay the transfer back down on that one corner 
and repaste it, but can you see where I've got the black? That's what I'm trying to reduce a little bit, that extra black line that's in place. I don't want that there. Um, the other option I have, because I painted, I've painted this wood cutout. This is why mistakes on lives are good. This is why they're good, because it can show, I can show you, I can easily show you how these things are easily fixed. It's not a big deal. Um, it's not something we're gonna get real worked up over. I'm trying to erase with a wet paintbrush as much of that black paste, the paste is generally erasable, and if I catch it before it settles in this wood and like cures, if I can catch it, I can pick it up, right? I can, I'm picking it up with this paintbrush and I just keep cleaning the paste off the brush. I have a little rag here that I'm cleaning the paste off of the brush. I'll come in here and I'll pick up some more. Now, the other option, because this is a wooden cutout that I painted with this color paint, my other option is to come in with just a tiny bit. I'm actually gonna get a finer paintbrush. I'm gonna get one of my detail brushes. Oh, so now you can see it. Just tiny, tiny, tiny little paintbrush. I'm gonna add just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of paint on it. I'm trying to find a good place for you to see this, right there. It's the gray paint and I'm gonna come in and I can cover all that black paste that I just got in there accidentally with the gray that I painted the board, okay? So I'm just fixing my little mistake. Really, it could have stayed there and that wouldn't, in my house, this hanging up with that little black streak would not bother me in the least. It really wouldn't. It just does not. I would look at it and be like so excited about having it. It's adorable. I made it. I do get a little cheesed and like proud, like the silly, you know, like proud pride of, oh my gosh, I made that. Cause I'm sometimes astounded that I even can do some of this stuff. But Chocotour makes it so easy. Anyway, this now, because we did this, I did this live, I'm able to show you how I can just easily fix the little mistakes that I do have. So right here, let me come closer. Right there, there's a little black line that it doesn't bother me in the least, but if you wanted to cover it because I painted it with that gray, I can just cover it right up with a little bit of that gray paint. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair dryer to this so I can dry the paint, and then I'm gonna lay the um, transfer back down and redo that section with more teal. We're gonna let that dry first. I'm done with the black, so I can put this away. Ugh. I need a new pot of black paste. It's getting old and it's almost, I'm almost out. Right, where's the black color? Here it is. Try to do two things at once. The story of my life. I can check comments here. Two, three things at once. Um, oh, you have 125 bottles of paint. Then Sudi for sure. For sure, you can sign up for the um, ten, the two-day paint challenge. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh, Denise saw, said she saw one of these um, paint done on a chalked on an old-time desktop. Hi, Morgan. Hey, Carol. <laughs> the poor rabbit. It's gotta go, Vivian. <laughs> it's gotta go. I'm gonna dry this paint. Hi, Tracy. You guys, did I say March? I'm seeing your comments now. Like, Carol says March, question mark? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to go back in time. May 4th and 5th. Yes, Morgan, May 4th and 5th. That's when that two-day paint challenge is. Good enough, I, I tested it. And it's pretty dry. Okay, now I can put this back down and redo that corner. Now, this corner of my transfer is kind of messy. That's where the mess up was. So before I do that, you guys, if this is important to you, I'm showing you how you could fix that little black smudge mistake. Um, honest, honestly, I'm telling you, if it was in my house, I'd just hang it the way it was because that doesn't bother me. But I understand for some, some of you, you want it to be more perfect. So come in and uh, you could take the whole thing, you know, if I, if I weren't live, I would take this whole thing to my 
laundry room sink and I would clean this under um, a faucet because it's so much faster and easier. But I'm just gonna clean this one corner. I'm using my board eraser to pull the paste off of this one corner so that I can reuse it. I don't need the whole thing to be clean. I just need this one corner and I'm trying to get the, the black paint away <laughs> so that I can put the transfer down um, and not have that smudge again. All right, I'm coming in with a clean, dry rag, and I'm gonna take off as much of the moisture as I can off of this transfer. It doesn't matter to me that the rest of this still has paste. I really just need this corner to be clean and dry. This corner right here. The rest of it does not matter to me. Now, this is still a little bit wet, and I don't wanna smudge any of my paste so I'll come in with my little shop towel and make sure that this is all dry. I don't care that it's clean, but I do need it to be dry, this other section. Make sure that the front and make sure that the back is dry before I put it down again. It's kind of dangerous, actually. <laughs> I am also very much a risk taker. When I craft, I'm like, eh, I don't have to clean the whole thing. I'll just clean part of it. Now, it's risky. I'll give you that. It would be better. It would be ideal if I would take it to a sink and clean the whole thing off so I can do this corner over again. But because we're live, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the risk. And to protect myself a little bit more, because now I have to lay this back down so I can do this corner. Um, to protect myself a little more, I think I'm gonna use my backing to protect the rest of this project. Um, I'm not loving the way this gray paint is looking right here. I want to brighten this up a little bit more. Some of the paste was blended in with my gray paint. And so I have like, a, it's like a dark smudge right there. So if I'm going to fix this, I'm going to fix it right. Do the best I can. So I'm just going to, with my tiny, tiny little detail brush, I'm trying to find a good place for you to see that. I'm going in here and just adding a little more paint to brighten up that gray color so it's it matches the rest of it we're gonna be fussy we gotta really be fussy Whoa, hello. and in the meantime my poor teal paste <laughs> that's already it's already a little bit dry in the meantime it's just sitting open and this is the stuff that dries it out like sitting it open like that for a while um, because it's a water-based product it's it, you'd be surprised it does dry out like if I were to leave it like that overnight it'd be pretty dry in the morning it would be pretty dry so just add a spritz of water oh I added the wrong water I usually use distilled water and the water that I used was just regular tap water um, but you can just Add the water in there to, to kind of wet that again. Okay, my paint is now dry. This section is all smudged up. You can see it. I fixed the paint color um, where it's just supposed to be the gray paint. Now that smudged up section, I'm going to go over it again with teal paste. To protect the rest of my design, I'm going to put down my <laughs> the rest of my backing sheet to protect the rest of that board. And I'm just, from this, cause this is all still dirty. And I'm just gonna lay down, I gotta stand up to do this. I'm just gonna lay this down. I can line up that little bit of black that I can see, I can line up with the design. Um, and I also should line up this bottom edge, this line, to make sure that it's straight going all the way down the line. So let me, I have to stand up. I can't really see what I'm doing otherwise. I need you to not stick for a second, typewriter. Like, see, I can move it around like this. This is usually how I line my stuff up. Okay, I'm using the bottom line and I'm using the black part of the typewriter to try to line this up. I'm going over it again. It's not like I'm it's not like I was able to erase it and then redo it. I'm going over a section that I've already done once. So yeah, I need to be pretty sure about 
lining it up because I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm just doing a piece of it. That looks like it's about right to me. <laughs> we'll see, I guess, once I get, we'll see once I finish. <laughs> it's, I know that's really um, almost impossible for you to see. But for me, that looks about right. I wanna push down strongly to make sure it's really stuck on there. I'm gonna just do another layer of teal. And actually, I wanna do this with my um, multi-tool because it's got a smaller profile. And I would love it if I could turn the whole thing. I wanna, so I can reach it better. Cause again, I'm a short girl. Okay, I'm going in girls, wish me luck. <laughs> girls and I'll say, well, if Keith was here, I would say guys and girls. I don't, I haven't seen Keith come on yet. Has anybody seen Keith? My friend who I used to work with, he sometimes stops by for a visit. All right, I'm just going over this whole section again with a little more teal. I feel like there's, like I covered a lot of that paint. I like recovered a lot of that gray. Or um, the teal, I covered it with the gray again. So I feel like I'm pasting more than I should be. Oh, but it worked. Okay, I got dirty. All right, all fixed. Much better, right? <laughs> Show me some hearts if you can see the difference. That is much better than it was. I would have left that that like streak of black in there would not have bothered me, but it is really good when mistakes happen when I'm live because I can show you how um, almost everything is figure outable. Almost everything is fixable. Even on, this is a wooden surface that not supposed to be able to erase it off, but I come in with that little paintbrush and a little bit of water, and because it's an erasable paste, it will move around for you so that you can um, like lighten the black. The black is so obvious on the teal. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you for that. Um, it was so obvious. So I came in with the wet paintbrush and just took some of the black out, and then I went back in with my gray that I painted the board with and fixed that up. And then I just repasted it. Done. How stinking cute is this? All right, now we have our little words that will go, they're gonna fit right in here. Oh, my little piece of paper. Okay, so, and we can write whatever we want. We need to make sure that all of the words are facing the right, like, you can see there's a little notch. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this online but in the shape of the wood, there's a little notch. It's like pretty straight, and then it goes up a little right there. That's the upper right corner. So you wanna make sure, kinda of looks like North Dakota, actually. <laughs> North Dakota has a very square profile, unlike my home state of Massachusetts. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have the profile right so that when you stick it in there, it's, because it does not fit. This, does, this piece of wood doesn't fit every way. It only fits one way. So you want to make sure you have it the right way. Okay, so now we can take these, like I have the little high. I'm, I'm gonna put that in black. So I'll open up my black again. Um, like typewriter, right? Typewriter color. So I'm gonna do high on one of them. And then one of them says, take note. These are the, the words that came with the typewriter set. So we'll do high on this one. And you, you don't even have to use paste and um, transfer. You could just write them on with a marker, but we have high that would fit in there. Now I have that dirty one, that's okay. And then it came with um, making it up as I go, which I might put on the board, but take note is another one that came with it that'll fit in that space. It just fits, right? So I'm gonna stick that on there and paste that. Oh, this, um, this is, it's just about the same width as this transfer. So I can't really go this way or I'm gonna get black on the top and the bottom of the, the tiny little piece of paper. So I'm gonna go up and down this way. It makes it a little hard to pick up your excess, but just take your time. When these tiny little words, you have plenty of time, I think, to just get it off there. Okay, so there's the second one. Now these are blank. It came with four. The cutout comes with four. Like I said, I'm gonna give one away. So make sure that if you guys are 
participating by sprinkling this out there. Make sure that you comment sprinkled um, so that I know that you did that. And then I'm going to randomly choose one of you to win a set, one of these, these cutouts. I'm going to send somebody. Okay, now here are all my A-size transfers. I keep them in books. Um, let me scoot this over for a second. Let's look for some other little words that might fit. I don't know if these words might all be too big. We might have to go to some other. Oh, here we have these ones. Gather, welcome. I would love welcome on one, but I think it's too big. Yep, too big. The gather might fit. Oh, hello. I already have hi, though. Hello would fit. I already have hi. No. Somebody, um, somebody had a couple of words on there. One of them was like B something or other. Oops, flip that one over. And it must have been from a bumblebee set. But this is the thing. Once you have a... <laughs> that would be cute on there, but it's too long. I woke up like this. Once you have a, a collection of different designs, you can pull whatever design elements you want from your other designs and mix and match. I'm looking for little words. Friends, memories, cozy harvest, those are too big. Oh my gosh, that would be funny. Oh my gosh, I think I can fit Monster on there. Listen, you guys, the name of our other company is Monster Lawn Hydro Seeding um, and Landscaping. We have a landscaping company. And this one, this is one of the originals. Like, th this only came out once at the very beginning two years ago. It's retired. It hasn't been around since then. A charming witch and her little monsters live here with one handsome devil, right? Adorable. I had to have it because our company's name is Monster Lawn. Um, a lot of people, when they talk to my husband, they just go, Monster, how are you? So this would be really fun if I could stick this in here. It's my husband's birthday in a couple of days. So if I can get Monster on one of these, I could write happy birthday on the board and then it could say Monster underneath. How cute would that be? It fits, you guys. The S doesn't fit. It's like meant to be. Just the word monster fits on one of these. And I'm just going to do it in classic black. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I am super excited. <laughs> so I'm going to put the, the typewriter on the board and then I can write in or I can use one of my transfers to um do the happy birthday part i just got the happy birthday cupcake one is this the cupcake one i just got a little a size one that has happy birthday on it okay this is just gonna fit like just fits <laughs> like i'm pushing the limits here i can go this way on this one because it's covering the whole the whole little strip of board is getting covered by the transfer so i could go that way Oh my gosh, it like fills up every millimeter, every little millimeter of this board is gonna be full of letters. I'm running out of paste, you guys. I need to go get my other pot of black. I'm gonna be missing just a little part of the end of the R, but I'm gonna have enough of the leg of the R to make this work. <laughs> it worked, it's like just fit. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cute in there. And it, it, the word monster has, it looks like it has blood. That It's like got drippies underneath it that make it look like it's blood <laughs> dripping down. Well, it's a, it's a Halloween one. So you see the little drippies underneath? I think that's supposed to be blood or like slime or something. I don't know, something Halloween-y. <laughs> it's a Halloween one. Okay, so I have monster, that's perfect. And of course you guys, you know, if it's like Valentine's Day, you could take your little boards and sand these off and then you could put love, sweets, um, candy, like you could do whatever words you want on here and you could reuse these over and over again and just redesign them for each season. Like so for Christmas, you could have peace, joy, Noel, because um, <coughs> you can, it, they're just little boards. So you could sand that down and then repaint it and then put new words on it, right? Okay, so I have just this one left and then we're gonna put it on the board. Let me um, move away these dirties. 
I'm just going to be using black paste. So I'm going to move all, all the dirty transfers go over there. I don't need the teal paste anymore, so I can put this away. Close up my poor teal. When um, I've let it sit out like that for a while, I usually do put a spritz of distilled water in it before I close it up to put it away. That way, it's that water's in there and staying, keeping it nice and wet. Um, let me just pull a few more transfers here. Just a few more. Let's look through some books. Let me move that over. We're just going to check right here and see if I have. Oh, this was the other one. This is perfect. Oh, look at that. First one. This is what I saw somebody else used. It was the Be Happy that came with the um, Bumblebee set. This, this one um, was like in the last chance section, this Bumblebee set. And I don't know if it has already sold out. The last chance section on my in my chalk shop, that means... It's the last chance, and once those low quantity items sell out, the item is retired. It will not be coming back. So when you go to my chalk site to shop, be sure to check the last chance section so that if there's something there that you want, that you snatch it up before it fully retires because then it won't be available again. Um, so anyway, this was in the last chance section. I don't know right now if it is completely sold out. I'd have to look it up myself. But it's bees are hot right now. Like this season, this spring and summer, I think it's bees and lemons I see all over the place with the trends for home decor. So this is this is great. This little bee happy. Cute. And I do love just the plastic, the, the classic black color with these letters. Um, because it's a typewriter, so it just makes perfect sense. So all of these are going to fit right in here. Uh-oh, did I do this one backwards? No, I didn't. Phew. Cute. So I do like the soft gray. I did the color that I painted the wood cutout is called Gray Sky from Decor. It's just a soft, light gray. You could even take your darker gray and add white paint to it to make a soft gray. Um, so I did light gray, and then I did teal and black for the typewriter and then I'm doing all the words in black. So now let's put this away. I'm gonna show you how this will come together on the board. Oh, I might need that again because I wanted to put on the board. Here's my board. So I could use my glue dots to glue this down. Well, let's get the monster in there because that's that's gotta be the most important one. Right? Oh my gosh, this is cute. You guys, it looks really cute. And um, this is a chalkboard. So Chalk Couture has black boards, boards that have black um, boards in them. And then we have the white boards. So this is a white board, but it's, a, it's an erasable chalkboard, if you know what I mean. This one, I've been writing the name. This is called the Sylvie Black, and it's the nine by 12 Sylvie black, meaning the frame is black, the board is white. Um, I can hand write in here with the marker. Let's see, let me grab my marker. I'm gonna hand write in there, happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you, let's see. I, um, Chaka Tour has four marker colors. They come in sets. You can either get black and white together, and they are great markers. They work great with these boards. You can get black and white, come as a set, and then the other set is two metallics, and I think it's silver and gold. I think, I think, I think. You'd have to look it up. I bought them, and then I gave them away to one of my, <laughs> the designers on my team <laughs> as a little treat. So, cause she said, I don't have any markers yet, so I sent her some in the mail. So, I'm just gonna freehand it, because it's it's a, a blackboard. So, and I, I do like the big, just like all uppercase. I like the big funky wonky ones. Oh, I don't like the way that turned out. It's okay. It's a blackboard. It's a chalkboard. So I'm going to erase that. My exclamation point didn't turn out the way I wanted it. When I first got this board, I'm like, oh my gosh, how is that black going to erase off of that white board? And it erases perfectly every time. I wanted that to be big and funky. All right, so how fun is that? I cannot wait to show my kids this. So, like I said, for sticking your little 
cut out onto your boards. Um, what I've been doing with my bows, I've been using um, dots. I, do you know what those are, those glue dots? Let me pull mine out. I've been using glue dots. Um, where are they? I put them. Why is it, you guys, always, always, you know what it is? I rearranged things. That's why I can't find them, because I moved them. Whenever I'm live, I swear you guys must think I'm the most disorganized person. I usually kind of have a system. So these glue dots, this is what I use, and they come in different sizes, and this one is a really big one. Um, so I'm one, this is what I usually use for like when I do ribbons and bows and I stick those on. I'm not sure, does this have one on it? Nope. Oh yes it does, I can feel it. It has two on there, so it, they're so hard to see. I'm not sure if um, the glue dots are gonna be strong enough to hold this in place. Can you see that little glue dot right there, that little shiny thing? I'm gonna try it. I don't know if they're gonna be strong enough, but they don't damage the board. They, the, the board is non-poor, so they'll come right off the board. So I don't have to worry about damaging my board. If this doesn't work, I think what I'm gonna use, I just bought a huge packet of the, um, whoop, of the 3M. They're 3M adhesive, but it's the, the Velcro that you use to hang pictures on the wall. And they come in different strength, like it can hold up a half a pound, it can hold, like the set that I bought can hold up to 16 pounds. So that would definitely hold this little thing in place. I'm not sure that the glue dots are gonna be strong enough. They're really sticking to my fingers though. That was my son trying to call me. That means he's ready to come home from fishing. And I told him, I'm going live. You're gonna have to wait until I'm done. All right, there we go. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 glue dots. I don't know if it's gonna hold or not. We're gonna try it. Oh, my son's calling the house now. That's smart, because that means he knows that I'm live, and he's going to call his brother and tell his brother, tell mom I'm ready. He's done fishing. All right, before I put the monster on there, let me just, this is the test now. <laughs> this is the test to see if the big glue dots can hold this down. You guys, I can see it on my end even. Is your view of this video um, broadcast, is it all skewed and like stretched out? The last couple of days, the, the live feeds have been so weird. Like they're blah, like all stretched out and stuff. As long as it stretches me tall and not wide. Yes, and honey. There's a thunderstorm coming and Landon's out on the beach. He'll be okay. He has like four rods with him. Not the best decision. Well, tell him not to hold his rods, the dope. <laughs> tell him to go up by the porta potty if he wants to. Tell him I'm finishing my live and I'll be there in about 15 minutes. It's holding it. Look. Big glue dots. <laughs> it's light enough with big glue dots. You don't do anything special here. How cute is this? And I bet this will just sit in there for now. I am so ex I am so excited about this. This was totally unintentional to put the monster in there, but now that I know that it fits, and his birthday is on Monday, so I'm gonna just hide this away until Monday, and then we'll put this out for him in the morning. How fun, right? And then you can just change these out to whichever one you want. So I'm gonna give one of these away now. I have another set. It won't be it won't be decorated. You're gonna decorate your own. Um, but I have, let's see if I can find it under the pile. I've got a few of these. So today I'm gonna to give away one of them. So to be eligible, you are here. <laughs> That's one thing, you have to be here with me so you can claim it. And then um, those of you who have been sprinkling, I so appreciate it. The, the, I'm doing, putting names in the, in the prize basket and, and drawing happy mail winners and sending people happy mail and doing these little giveaways on the lives as a way of saying thank you. Thank you for following. Thank you for ordering from my chalk shop. Thank you for taking my workshops. I have a virtual chalk party and workshop on Sunday with some of you. Um, so for those of you who are participating by signing up for my workshops, all of that jazz. Thank you, this is my way of saying thank you. So somebody's gonna win. Let me pull a name. I'm gonna pull randomly from the comments. Oh, let me sit down because I'm more comfortable and I can see this better. And then we'll pull a winner. And the winner just, need, if you're not um, already a customer of mine, if you're not always already getting some sort of happy mail from me in the mail, I need your address. 
and your email address so I can send you a shipping confirmation when it goes out. So you're just going to need to private message me with your mailing address and your email address if you win. Good deal? Everybody good with that? I need a drink of water. Hang tight. I know the suspense. The suspense, right? Who's going to win? All of you who want to know where I got them, so if you want to order your own, um, just sign up for that email list. I put the link in the comments. It's also on Chaka Tour with the Comfy Nest on that page. There's a tab that says sign up for email or join email list or something. And then I will send it the link to everybody. Okay, so the winner, the winner is Kathy Weagle. Kathy Weagle, you just won a cutout with the four little, it'll come with the four little cards so that you can make your own. Um, Kathy, I, off the top of my head, I'm not, I don't remember. Are you a, Chalk Couture, a Club Couture member already? Do you already have this transfer? Um, why don't you private message me with your mailing address and your email address and let me know that. Because I would love for you to be able to design this yourself, but we can figure that out. If you just message me. Denise says, congratulations. Hi, Brenda. Brenda says she's going to try hers this weekend. Have fun with it. Just take your time and have fun with it. Just remember in between each layer to dry, completely dry your board so that you don't have any smudges. Okay. Hi, Trish from Georgia. She says, I definitely need to watch the replay. It is a great, cute little project. Oh, we don't need be. We need monster in there for the birthday. I love that though. Like you, so you can have the little cutout on there. You can have all these little extra words. No, it's not coming out. It's really stuck in there. Um, but you can also use your chalk. If you're putting it on your chalkboard, you could also be writing some kind of chalk message to your family. That's appropriate for the day, right? Like we're going to do happy birthday on Monday to my husband. Where did I put the monster? That's my favorite one. That's just cute. I'm so excited. And I love the teal color. I know. When I was in high school and took typewriting, the typewriters were not teal or pink or yellow or anything pretty. But this is not high school typewriting class. We can put, make our typewriters whatever color we want them. <laughs> right? Yes. Fran says, I have the transfer, so I need the board. Well, you just private message me and we'll get you hooked up with what you need, okay? And stay tuned because I have two more of those cutouts to give away. So when I go live, I'll be giving them away and I'd like to do it this month. So next week's, you know... I don't know if I'll go live this weekend, but even next week, um, either in the VIP customer lounge, maybe I'll do one in there for my VIPs, and anybody is welcome to be in that group. It's a free group. Um, you just can't be a current designer. You shouldn't be, according to um, Chocotour rules. But I'll probably give one away in the VIP group, and I'll probably give one away again next week on one of my lives um, here on Chalk Couture with the Comfy Nest. So thank you guys for joining. Invite your BFFs if they're crafty and they might appreciate this project. Send them the project broadcast so they can watch it. And then just send them the link to my page so they can join and follow too. And they won't miss out on any of the fun. You guys have a beautiful, blessed night and weekend. If I don't see you before Monday, um, have a great, safe, happy weekend. Take care.